Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back. I hope you had a happy Easter. I know I did. I'm enjoying the nice sunshine and fresh air. And I just wanted to go ahead and continue with our Easter topic about new growth and springtime. So I'm going to read a little story first about how that looks. And I'll do a little science experiment with you. So let's begin. The true meaning of Easter. God created many beautiful animals and plants that bloom and are born in spring. Rabbits, butterflies, chicks from eggs, frogs, and flowers. See little chickies and the flowers and the butterfly? New growth. Enjoy Easter egg hunts and chocolate Easter bunnies to celebrate the new life that spring brings. So Easter always comes during the springtime. God sent his love into the world in much the same way the tiny seed was a baby named Jesus. The most important thing to remember is that just like a seed, God sent baby Jesus to bring us new life. Jesus represented God's love for us. His love bloomed like a flower. He healed the sick and he fed the hungry. Spring is a season for planting. So we have seeds, seedling, and a pot with some dirt and a shovel. So this is time to begin new growth. In spring, the grass grows and the flowers bloom. Look at all the pretty colors. We have pink and green and yellow and blue and red and purple. Flowers start as tiny seeds. But with love and nurturing, they bloom, they blossom into beautiful flowers. So how each child can take care of something, look how they feel. They feel happy and the love that they feel helps them to take care of God's beautiful creation. For flowers to bloom, they need water, watering can, sunshine, and loving care from their heart to take care of something that's growing. Jesus was like me and you. He needed sunshine, water, and loving care from his heart to care from growth from a tiny baby into a boy and then into a young man. He showed his love for people by teaching others how to love one another, by serving the needy and the poor. So when you serve friends, you can serve by giving food, clothing, or even a helpful hand at showing love from your heart and it's helping people to be safe and healthy and things to grow. Jesus loves us and he wants us to plant God's love like seeds in our hearts. Just like a seed, we need to care for and nurture God's love in our hearts so that it can blossom and it can grow. When we spend time with God by reading the Bible and praying to Him, the love in our hearts will grow. Just like we talk about at chapel. We can do that any time of the day, anywhere we are. Reading the Bible, praying to God, and telling others about God's love. With His love in our hearts, we can deliver the message of God's love through the life of His Son, Jesus, to the whole world.
The true meaning of Easter is that God loved us so much that he sent his son Jesus to live in our hearts. The big heart? And friends, that's why Easter is so important to share that with others. Happy Easter is a fun time. It's also the love of God and the joy of spring that will fill your heart with all of God's creation. So friends, I have a little activity to show you. So I thought we could do some active and a planting activity. So we have a water bottle and you can use this as a recyclable item. Remember how we talked about reusing, renewing, recycling? So we're kind of going to do two things with this. We're going to recycle because we're not going to throw this away. We're going to reuse it as a planter cup. And then it'll be renewed to help give new life growth. So, if you have some fun little gardening gloves, or maybe mommy and daddy might have some, you can put them on. It's always a good idea. Protect your hands. And then you can get soil from your ground out in your backyard. Maybe you can have some extra soil in a bag from the store. You can use a shovel. Or you can use a little spoon at home. And you can just fill up your water bottle. You probably want to fill it at least halfway. Let's see. Almost there. That's a good amount. So you fill it, you want to pack it down a little bit like that inside your cup so that you just have a little bit of soil there. You want to give it a little protection inside for your seeds. So you have to, these are going to be marigold seeds. So these are a little seed packet and these are what the flowers will look like. We have some yellow, orange, and red. So you just want to put about uh, maybe five seeds. Let's see if we can count out five seeds here. I'm going to have the camera zoom in here so you can see very carefully what these seeds look like. Can you see them? They're long. they got little tips on them. That's a marigold seed. We have one, two, three, four. Let's do one more. It's good to have about five because that way they don't all take. We have that extra seed in there. So you should have at least with five seeds. You should have at least two or three that'll grow, or maybe all five. It's part of the experiment. So after you put your seeds in, then you want to cover the top with the soil with one only two more scoops okay you don't want to put too much soil you just want enough to keep it nice and protected and sealed and you're going to pat it down a little bit and then if you have a spray bottle around the house you can water it every day and so when you spray it you want to probably give it at least 10 sprays so let's count one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now we will see how many days it's going to take for that to grow, and we get to watch it. Now remember, there's things that we need to have for things to grow. We need sunlight, we need lots of oxygen, we need water, we need soil, and those are things that help the plant to grow, but also our love for it, taking care of it, watching it, putting it where it gets enough sunlight, maybe by your window inside your house, maybe on your patio outside, so that it'll grow into a beautiful flower. So friends, I will be sending home another packet this Friday that'll have some things in there that you could make your own little planter with flowers and some activities that you can do, some cut and paste activities. So I'll have another video here for you shortly about springtime and the different things that we need to help our plants to grow. 
All right, friends, I hope you're having a great day. And be sure to check out the little small post I'm putting on for our butterfly cycle because that's new growth too. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.